A show playlist, can either be created within the server, or can be created using the DMS. In this tutorial, we will explain how to create a show playlist or SPL, within the TMS 2000. We will also look at adding an automation queue, and intermission playlist, to an SPL. Please take note of the time markers provided on screen. They will help you quickly scan and navigate to a specific section within this tutorial video. In order to create an SPL, go to the content tab. Here, click the blue arrow icon, to switch from manage mode, to create mode. To begin building an SPL, click the new SPL button. Select the playback server type, based on the model of the media server, for which you are creating a show playlist. Next, provide a name for the show playlist you want to create, and then click the OK button. You can now start building your playlist, by dragging and dropping the CPLs listed under the content tab, into the SPL editor below. The format of your show playlists, will primarily depend on your cinema's show programming. A CPL from any location, can be added to the SPL. You can browse through the various categories, to select the CPLs you want to add to the playlist. In this example, we will start by adding a 5 second black clip to the SPL. Next, we will add a couple of advertisements. And finally, we will add a feature CPL to the playlist. Once you have finished building your SPL, make sure you save it by clicking the Save SPL button. By default, all SPLs are saved to the theater store, which is the storage of the DMS. After saving the SPL, you can find it within the Content tab, by selecting the theater store, and then clicking the SPL sub-tab. Within this sub-tab, you can browse or search for the SPL that you're looking for. For details regarding how to transfer an SPL to a particular cinema screen within the TMS, we would recommend that you watch the tutorial, which explains the content tab in detail. Let us now look at how automation cues, can be inserted within the show playlist. These automation cues are stored on the server, and can automate a wide range of actions, for a wide range of configured devices. To add an automation queue to a playlist, you need to select the SPL first, under the SPL sub-tab. Let us select the same SPL, which we have just created. Once selected, the contents of the playlist will be displayed under the SPL editor. Right-click on any CPL, to which you would like to add an automation queue, and select the Add Queues option. A pop-up window will be shown. Here, select the cinema screen from which you would like to import the automation queues. After selecting a particular screen, all the corresponding queues will be listed, and selected by default. Click on OK to proceed. This will open a window, similar to the Edit CPL Properties screen of the GDC server interface, which you might be familiar with. Here, you can either mention the specific number of frames, or elapsed time, after which the selected queue should be executed. Click on this button, to toggle between time code, or frame number. Select the automation queue label from the drop-down menu. In this example, we will select an automation queue, which will change the volume level for the configured sound processor, to 4. Additionally, this queue needs to be executed at the start of the selected clip. 
Hence, we select the From Clip Start option, and let the time code be 0 as shown. After mentioning these details, click on the Add Cue button, to attach the selected cue label to the start of the clip. You can repeat this process, to add more cue labels to the selected clip. To delete an automation cue label, select it from the list, and click on the Delete Cue button. Once done, click the OK button to add the automation cue. Under the SPL editor, you will now notice a triangle symbol above this clip. This symbol represents the automation cue label that has been added to the CPL, and it will be displayed at the exact time or frame, you had selected within the clip. Remember to save the changes to the SPL, by clicking on the Save SPL button. Similar to automation cues, you can also add an intermission to a feature CPL, within a show playlist. Please note, that you can use an existing intermission playlist from any of the cinema screens, while adding an intermission. To add an intermission, right click on the feature CPL, and select the add intermission option. The intermission editor window will be shown. From the first drop down menu, select the screen from which you would like to import the intermission playlists. Once selected, all the available intermission playlists from that particular screen, will be listed under the second drop down menu. After choosing the intermission playlist, you need to set the preferred time code where the intermission cut position should be set, for the selected feature CPL. Additionally, you can also set the amount of time, to rewind the selected CPL before the cut position, once the intermission playlist ends. In this example, we will be selecting an intermission playlist from screen 5 of the TMS. The cut position is placed at 59 minutes, after the start of the feature clip. Also, a rewind time of 20 seconds is added. After mentioning these details, click on the add button, to add the intermission playlist. To remove an intermission playlist, select it from the list, and click on the delete button. Once done, click the OK button to add the intermission. Under the SPL editor, you will now notice a diamond symbol above the clip. This symbol represents the intermission that has been added to the feature CPL, and it will be displayed at the exact time or frame, you had selected within the clip. Remember to save the changes to the SPL, by clicking on the Save SPL button. Please note, that the SPLs containing an intermission, can only be sent to DCinemas screens, that have been configured within the DMS. To view detailed information related to any SPL, including the list of CPLs, configured automation queues, and intermission playlists, simply right-click on the listed SPL, and select the details option. A pop-up window will be shown, containing information related to the selected SPL. You can copy the contents of any existing SPL, and create a new show playlist, by using the copy show option. To do so, select the existing SPL from the list, and click the copy show button. Provide a name for the new SPL, and then click OK. A new SPL will now be created, with all the contents from the existing one. Additionally, if you want to delete any CPLs from a show playlist, simply select the CPL in the SPL editor, and then click the Delete CPLs button. Make sure that you save these changes to the new SPL, by clicking the Save SPL button. You can also create a show playlist, 
for content playback from alternative input sources, such as HDMI, SDI, or network streaming. Please note, that this option will only be available for GDC servers. After creating a new SPL, click on the Alternative Input drop-down, and select the GDC Alternative Input option. A pop-up window will be shown. Here, you can select the type of input source from the drop-down menu. Additionally, you need to mention the duration of playback from the selected source. Click on OK, to add it to the show playlist. In this example, we have added a clip for playback from an HDMI input source, with a duration of 5 minutes. Click the Save SPL button, to save this SPL to the DMS Theater Store. Once you are done editing your show playlist, click on the Exit Editor button. This tutorial is now complete. Thank you for watching.